Welcome back to Second Look, starring your dignified host, Pushing Up Roses. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Second Look, your source for high-end, sophisticated gaming. Today we're going to experience a game of the utmost intelligence and innovation. A game with artwork and visuals comparable to the great impressionist artists of our time. Writing on the level of Poe and Kafka and O. Henry. I'm talking, of course, about the personal computer game Beavis and Butthead in Virtual Stupidity. Ooh. You'll excuse me, I require more teepee. You know, for my bunghole. Beavis and Butthead is a cartoon that ran on MTV in the early 90s. Created by Mike Judge, Beavis and Butthead is about two insanely dim-witted teenagers. Their thought process is pretty straightforward, scoring with chicks and listening to rock and roll music. Hey Beavis, check it out. <laughs> Someday, we'll be the french fry. Even though I despised the first several episodes that ran on MTV, the more the series and characters were developed, the more I liked it. Though incredibly juvenile, there's something entertaining about the humor that Beavis and Butthead exhibit. There's like, something in here. <laughs> Damn it, I can't reach it. Are you looking in your pants, Beavis? <laughs> oh, penis jokes. Beavis and Butthead and Virtual Stupidity was developed by Viacom New Media and released in 1995, three years after the cartoon aired. Virtual Stupidity is not what I would call an innovative adventure game. In fact, most seasoned adventure gamers would say the puzzles are far too easy and there is absolutely nothing special about the game. At most, it's below average. Virtual Stupidity is not the pinnacle of high-class gaming, and honestly, it never claimed to be. Although most gamers don't see it as anything great, it's very well loved. And here's why. Reasons for liking Virtual Stupidity. Number one, it has a great storyline. While it's not the most profound tale ever written, it's simple and never strays from the original idea. Number two, it's well designed. The game tech is well done, easy to understand, and the graphics are accurate when compared to the cartoon. Number three, it has familiar elements. The game includes original characters from the series and all of their voice actors. And number four, it's funny in a charmingly gross way. This dude's face is horny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> Actually, my whole body's like that. <laughs> the storyline is of your basic Beavis and Butthead type situation. You start out working at Burger World and then Todd comes in and kicks your ass. Whoa, where the hell is my food, man? Ugh. I'm gonna give you a lesson in customer service. Todd is obviously a badass, as indicated by his aviator sunglasses and strategically placed stubble. Instead of feeling scared or threatened by Todd, Beavis and Butthead consider him cool. Todd would make like a good manager or something. They also want to be cool, so they decide they want to find Todd and talk him into letting them into his gang. It truly does not get any deeper than that. Unlike most adventure games, which are heavily based on a well-developed story and multiple twists and turns throughout the duration, Virtual Stupidity never changes and always follows the same storyline. The only things that change are your inventory and your settings. Every now and then you can unlock a new setting on your map. At one point I did find myself asking, Roses, if the game is so simple and the story never changes, then what makes it good? And then I usually respond with, Well, Roses, even though the storyline is simple, it's completely true to the original series. It maintains the same charm and humor. Not everything has to be a high-class steak dinner to be enjoyable. Sometimes I just want a big old greasy pizza. Pretty much every notable character from the series is in the game, along with their respective voice talents. This is a game that panders to Beavis and Butthead fans, so if you're not familiar with the characters or if you weren't a fan of anything that came out of Generation X, it may not appeal to you. Purely from a gamer perspective, even though the tech for this game isn't anything exceptional, it's not poorly designed. It has a nice menu option that you right-click to get to, the save options, though outdated looking, work very well, and the graphics are accurate when compared to the series, and even the animations are really quite nice. The game is very immature, but if you're already familiar with Beavis and Butthead and wanted to play this game because you like that show, then you already know you're going to experience a lot of toilet humor. Here are a few clips of the stimulating dialogue. Hey Beavis, you're handling your meat again. Hey buddy, I dare you to touch that sperm. Beavis, you butt monkey, I don't touch anything unless it's mine. 
It's like locked or something. That sucks. Throughout the game, you'll run into Daria, Mr. Anderson, Buzzcut, and Van Drayson, who are all involved in inventory puzzles created to move you along. Your main goal is to get into Todd's gang. Uh, we're looking for Todd. That's funny, because, like, he's looking for a couple little dudes whose asses he can kick. And you spend most of the game trying to get to that point, causing a trail of chaos in your wake. There are some mini-games included, but you aren't required to play most of them. You do, however, need to play the Hakalugi game to distract the school principal. You're like the Loogie Champion or something. <laughs> There's also a game where you can write and record your very own songs, composed entirely out of farts and burps. Here's my masterpiece. <laughs> I don't like to give out too many spoilers here at Second Look, but to give you a better idea of what the game is like, some of the tasks include turning Roadkill into a stuffed plushie, Could you like shut up and give me the squirrel? <laughs> pumping a condom full of air so it can later be turned into a balloon animal, <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> and leaving a bar of soap on the jail cell floor so a cop can slip on it, so he can be eaten by an insane inmate so you can get the keys to the entire facility. We can go anywhere in jail we want. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> These things seemingly have nothing to do with getting into Todd's gang, but everything makes sense in the end. Actually, it doesn't make any sense at all, but it's entertaining nonetheless. I laughed out loud several times during this game. There's one part specifically that I found exceptionally funny. One of the puzzles involves stealing an army tank, but Beavis and Butthead aren't strong enough to open the hatch. To open it, you have to have Beavis consume a ton of coffee so that the caffeine overdose will turn him into Cornholio. Because Cornholio is, of course, the only one who can open the hatch. You do not want to face the wrath of my bunghole! <laughs> There's definitely something charismatic about Beavis and Butthead as characters. Even though they're completely adolescent, they exhibit this naive nature. They're incredibly simple-minded and very oblivious to complex thoughts, but that's part of their charm. This is gonna be cool. Deep down, these are just teenagers without any life experience. Dimwitted teenagers, yes, but they definitely have their own unique charm. I want to conclude this review by telling everyone not to dismiss this game just because it's Beavis and Butthead. PC Gamer awarded it Best Adventure in 1995, and it also holds a percentage of 78 on the Game Rankings website. I discovered this game as not the most devout Beavis and Butthead fan, but after playing it, it actually sparked my interest in checking out the Beavis and Butthead movie. I also played this game with a person who hadn't seen a single episode of Beavis and Butthead, and after beating it, wanted to go back and watch the series since he liked the game so much. So I offer this to you. Even if you're not familiar, give it a chance. Just prepare yourselves to get bombarded with poop jokes and sexual innuendo. Beavis and Butthead and Virtual Stupidity surprisingly worth a second look. Thank you so much for tuning into Second Look, your introduction to high-class gaming. Okay, this like sucks and stuff. I don't even like tea. I'm gonna go try to score. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha